Here's how to set up voicemail on your iPhone. Now, if you have an iPhone, maybe you just got it and you have never set up the voicemail before, I'll walk you through the steps, it's really easy. So the first thing that you can do is open up your phone app here, and at the very bottom right is voicemail. So just tap on that, and you'll see something that looks like this. So when you first get your iPhone or you haven't set it up yet, you'll see this thing that says to receive a voicemail, first set a password and greeting, and it'll have that set up now button. So you just tap the set up now button, and then it will bring you to something that looks like this. You're just gonna enter in your password that you choose whatever you want for your voicemail password. Keep in mind, you don't need this for your phone itself, but this is if you have a different phone and you call into your voicemail, you have to enter in that password to be able to listen to it. So enter in that voicemail password, and then you'll see a screen that kind of looks like this. And if we tap on greeting, it will basically give you the option to set your current voicemail. So you can see default here. Default is just basically a robot saying you've reached this number, leave a message. Or under custom here, you can record your own voice saying, you know, you've reached my number, leave a message. So at the very bottom, you can hit record at the bottom, right? Basically, you can use this to record your voicemail. So you can see that little red bar shows you how much time you have left. Once you're done, you can hit stop and then just hit play right here on the left and that will play that voicemail so that you can listen to it, see if you like it. If you do like it, just hit that save button at the very top right. And now you have set up your voicemail, you have set the password, you have set the greeting, all that stuff. Now, if you do ever wanna change your password down the road, I'll show you where that is. Let's hop into settings. We'll scroll down until we get to phone. And then again, we'll scroll down and you can see at the very bottom there is change voicemail password. So if you wanted to change that down the road, you just go in here, you change that password to something different. If you suspect that maybe somebody has that password, you can always change it to something new. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.